All right, folks, Machine 2.3 is officially out. It's an update, it's an upgrade, call it what else you want, and it includes complete select. A lot of instruments, a lot of new plugins, and some workflow enhancements. All right, let's have a look. All right, so this is it, Machine 2.3. Let's just have a look at the broad picture. Uh, so it's a software update and then complete. Select a suite of 10 premium instruments and effects. I've tested them and they are indeed very cool. Uh, you get a free update if you already have Machine 2.0 and up. You can do that update. So if you're on 2.2, you get all this included and in native instruments like it did with me, emailed me with a... Um, serial number so I can activate that through Service Center. You download it and then activate it through Service Center. If you uh, don't have that yet, you'll have to buy it. If you're on 1.8, it's the same thing. As I explained in my previous video, uh, Native Instruments does not give you a free pass. They still lock you to 1.8 unless you pay the $59, but you're getting more and more. So buy now $59 for the upgrade, you know, um, two years later, almost a year and a half later, is a really good deal. At the beginning, everybody was like moaning and complaining. It was $99 and, and you know, it was just not, you know, it was uh, a smaller step from, from 1.8 to 2.0. So, uh, but that um, argument has changed a little bit. So now let's look what uh, complete select means. So that's massive. Um, where are you, buddy? There's massive. There is reactor. Prism uh, is right here. The Scar B Mark uh, One. Uh, we got Solid Bus Compressor. We got Monarch. It's a cool synthesizer. Gentleman, uh, piano, an upright piano. We got Drum Lab. Very interesting. I haven't played with that yet. We got Retro Machines. Those are all drum machines. We got Vintage Organs. Very, very cool. We're going to have a quick look at that. And uh, West Africa. So uh, that is what. In what is with uh, what inc is included in complete select? So I'm so excited! I'm stumbling over my own voice, but uh, voice. But there's also um, a new uh, symbol drum set and hi hat engine. We got now crash and hybrid. Uh, we got new drum engines for breaker, and which is for uh, snare, and then a uh, new tom uh, and new hall and room reverbs. Very excited about that. I'll show that to you quickly as well. Um, the limiter was very due for an upgrade in my uh, in my point because you didn't have all you know the, you didn't show you the gain reduction, and you didn't have the ability, I believe, to dial in a ceiling. So it was a little bit um, it was a little bit uh, one trick pony, uh, and most um, you know DAW limiters work work more like this. Um, we got an analog distortion, absolutely beautiful, and cabinet effect, which I haven't tried out. So you're getting a lot more, and then you got the workflow improvements. Uh, you can now quantize and uh, and quantize 50% now from within the pattern uh, editor. So with the right click on the mouse, you can do that. <sighs> the copy and pasting of MIDI, MIDI, MIDI. You guys are having fun with my accent on that. I know, I know that I, I just kind of forgot now how I usually say it, and I forgot how I'm supposed to say it, but. In German, we say MIDI, M-I-D-I, MIDI. Screw it, man. Um, <laughs> so with that, um, uh, the copy and paste for for patterns is pretty cool. You know, let's say you do something on one, you want to double the bass. You just want to create the same bass. I want to double the bass and copy it over to another to another slot. That's that's very cool. Now, so uh, okay, enough with that. Um, it's a cool video as well that Native Instruments has out. So uh, you can watch that. Um, it's not actually from them. I think it's probably better than mine, but you know, I have my own uh, I have my own twist on things. So, all right, let's cut back to machine here really quick. All right, folks. And so first up is West Africa. Um, it's been out for a while. Pretty cool if you want some good percussions, um, especially with electronic music, something very warm here. And um, on the plug-in side, we can Play with the intensity and how hard the guy hits it, the guy or the girl. You can play with the swing. Very straight, reverb. All that stuff is um, sort of like genre specific. Um, you can edit also the variation here. For example, you want slaps, and it tells you a little. I 
right, we're gonna add the slaps, and then um, with command we can add the bass note. So, um, so now if you look at the keyboard here really quickly, and you can do that with the keyboard on machine or with an external keyboard. Um, so if you, let's say, C1, C2 is a variation, C3 is a variation. Uh, so all the variations here. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. And then you have uh, from C2 on you got phrases. So if you you can check this out here, and um, what you um, what's also pretty cool is you got obviously the single hits. I mean that's very important. So you can program your own. instrument really like that um. let's uh, increase the reverb here you know really like that um let's see what else we got um i want to get to the orchestral things uh something to explore here uh, if you download everything from Complete Select, you have about uh, 20 gigs to download. All right, and then let's check out the percussion ensembles. That's very cool here. So we go back to C1. We got. Yeah, it's on. Ugh. Make it a little bit more imprecise. So sort of like the, the beach drum circles or make it tight. So this is how it sounds when everybody's behaving. This is how everybody goes nuts. Yeah. Not in your living room. So pretty cool. Um, very cool and you can obviously edit that and there's tons of them here so uh very very useful um the next thing was the vintage organs very cool i really like it let me just dial in i really like that and the way it reacts you know you have the different sounds um different organ sounds you can go to the Amazon and then feed that through different amps Leslie open uh, that's the minor chord here the amp here Rotor on off, and then let's see, let's go to UK 70s amp and back to the Leslie. I'm going to show you how it looks like in the instrument section. Uh, you got a lot of um, um, options here basic jazz here. I like this one here. Oh yeah. And here's the look. Here's how it actually looks like. I didn't even see that. Nice. For speed. All of that can be adjusted directly from machine. Crank up the drive. Room. Get some spacey sounds. Yeah.
Yeah, cool. So um, that's one of the things. The next thing is uh, the piano. So the gentleman here, uh, I'll show you that one here, and I like that too. Close the lid. Check this out here. There's a lot of options here with this. Um, with this piano. Very well done. Uh, like it a lot. Here for the tone. So bass tones, more on the bass tones, less on the bass tones, so emphasizing. Beautiful, see that? Even compressors built in. So, folks, there's not much to complain. Um, I mean, I'm not a hardcore piano emulator guy, but this sounds pretty sweet. And let me get rid of this here really quick. Um, I don't know why my window is kind of smallish here. Let me change this. I like it like that. Sorry about giving you that weird look. So, here, yeah, this is cool. All right, let's, let's close this one here. Um, what else did I want to show off? Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, buddy Monarch. All right, folks. And so here is the Monarch. And uh, I dialed in a nice bass tone. And I don't know that synthesizer at all. Um, but um, just wanted to show you here's a new feature in the... Right here, you can now make the smaller here if you have less space on the laptop. That's pretty cool in the browser. Let me go back to the browser and uh, just filtering it by bass sounds on the Monarch. And uh, here I go, I scroll, there's tons of sounds. And in the arpeggiator, um, the cool thing in the arpeggiator is that we have a hold feature now. All right, and here's the Monarch with a nice reverb that we just dialed in. Very easy to dial in. Just hit Shift Browse. And um, we're here in the reverb section. And um, let's compare that to the previous, to the Legacy. Kind of different animal. Pretty cool. Um, All right, pretty cool. So that's Monarch for you. So all right, so let's check out the new drum synth hi-hat. Pretty cool. And um, so I'm gonna play with the parameters a little bit. Um, So 
I think this is really excellent to create your own. Uh, in this case, hi hat. You know, it sounds really good and it reacts very, very good to manipulation because you're not really uh, manipulating a sample. It's all um, virtually analog. So now, with that said. pitched here it's going to distortion let me show you the new distortion plugin I think that's really good it's a really good distortion plugin this is saturation I turn on the saturation keep the bass keep that let's keep everything let's turn on the focus so it sounds a lot. Very nice to dirty up sounds. Um, and the, there's two engines. There's the analog engine and then Mulholland. That's the previous engine. So that's the, basically the legacy mode. It's a little bit different. It just doesn't, just, just doesn't do as much. It just adds some nice dirt. And that's on a very, very, very clean hi-hat. Now we get the reverb as well. This is just showed, you, showed off. getting some nice sounds here um really happy with that um we also have let's see we have a new crash um uh, that uh, native instruments gives us uh, let's go back there new dramatic ride crash and ride Beautiful. Um, love it. If we go to crash, let's see if we can to pitch this down a little bit. It's modes, normal, metallic. All right, so here is the new snare drum, uh, which is called Breaker. Love, I always love piccolo. So this preset here is piccolo. But I'm going to go through a couple of um, different presets here. Piccolo is so sweet. And then we got Breaker in it, so initialize it. So cool, I'm going to get rid of that Monarch here. I think that's a distraction. Tune the skin, put the impact. So now, if we go back and we add, um, for example, a little bit of that reverb, um, you hit Option and drag it over here, um, and then you can e add the reverb as well, the distortion as well, just to see what it does. And now it's nice and dirty, and you can, you know, so many effects you can add. Um, I got it at fixed velocity. So uh, pretty happy with that too. And there's also a tom, high tom sound. Uh, let's see if we can get that in here. Yeah, that's more like a high tom. distortion here yeah kind of nice to add that as well all right so the next thing I want to show you is a monarch with the new cabinet uh, amp and with reverb and maybe we'll put a limiter in there as well so why don't we do that here really quickly I'm gonna move that limiter over over and um, that's a good sound example here we go uh, move it here I'm gonna cancel that out so so that we here one effect at a time um, and let me uh, get rid of that side view here really quickly I'm gonna get rid of the side view so we see a little bit more of what the party that's happening here so here's our monarch Right. 
So um, the cabinet that I used here uh, is a vintage four times twelve. So four speakers is a four times twelve um, cabinet with a uh, Shure SM51 and there's some dynamic mics, a ribbon mic, condenser mic. So dynamic 57 is obviously modeled after the Shure SM51 classic guitar mic. And then we have here the distance. So how close is that mic? Right. Play with that without having to deploy reverb. So if I deploy re reverb, that's cool too. But this is a sound that's less harsh. And obviously the distance here that affects the transient. So good job with the cabinet. I haven't compared it to, you know, like a guitar rig. Uh, that obviously comes out of guitar rig, but I haven't compared it to, you know, other guitar amp uh, presets. But again, a very useful tool if you have guitars, obviously, but you can use it in so many other things to just give distance and shape and position so it's a three dimensional mix and not flat um so we can also check out the re the delimiter at this point we're going to plug that in so heavy limiting is going on here way too much for my liking um check this here very quickly here we go just just a tiny bit if it even needs it and then we got the reverb here on the back end uh, room we can make it a hall and then we can jump back onto our um, arpeggiator hitting that note repeat you hit hold um, and you hit lock and Right, let's reduce, let's play a little bit with the sound. And we're gonna hit the limiter, be very gentle on the limiter. Increase. There we go. So this one, you want that to swing in rhythm. That's when you got the right time. Now we can change the cabinets now, British. American America. That modern. I like the British here. Boost the mids quite nicely. And then you can also change the mix, so that's the original here, right there. It's way too dry, way too clean here. Uh, obviously you can you would be able to change that in Monarch itself, don't forget. Um, I like to work at the source. That's always a good idea. So there we go. First, deal with the source. All right, and then we're bringing in the cabinet. This guy's gonna do this on the controller. That's not much too dull, huh? Dull, huh? <laughs> so it all depends. Everything is interactive, and now obviously we gotta readjust the new limiter. There we go. Yeah. Oh, something happened here. What did we do? Oops. We screwed up the sound. Ooh. There's my finger on the mouse. And then let's check out room. That's the old one. Oh no, that's plate. I'm sorry. They had an extra plate setting. They had a reverb setting and a plate setting. And the old reverb is now legacy. Uh, and the plate setting moved into the reverb setting. Makes sense. Makes sense. Let's cut the highs, we can cut the lows, softness modulation, uh, so tons of stuff, tons of stuff also to screw up your sound, but that's always like that. So I'm going to stop annoying you with those sounds here, because that is just for demonstration purposes, arpeggiator is pretty good, because I only got two hands, and actually, since one hand is on the mouse, I really only got one hand to work uh on that. Um, what else, I'm just going to look at my notes here really quickly. Alrighty, and now let's just quickly touch on uh, some of the uh, software uh, improvements here. Uh, I want to show you within the software some workflow enhancements, as Native Instruments calls it. For example, one of them, you select, um, say, any given amount of uh, note events, and then you can right-click outside of those notes, and then you can quantize just these guys here from within the software. You could always do that from the controller, but now that's pretty cool. All right, so the next feature is, let's say you have some 
random notes here, right? Um, and you want to copy that from one instrument, and you want to copy that to uh, the next one. So what you do is you just draw, drag this right here, and before there were some issues with that, now we can easily. So you can doubling doubling up sounds and just quickly creating variations of things. And there's a few other workflow enhancements that I'm not going to show. I haven't checked those out yet. Uh, supposed to be pretty cool. And folks, just one more thing that goes to my heart. Uh, last week, BB King passed away. Ladies and gentlemen, BB King, BB King, BB King, the King of the Blues. Um, 1925 to 2015, almost 90 years old. He played till a month before he passed. A uh, beautiful life lived, full of passion, love for music, feeling in every note. I'll leave you with those thoughts. Uh, the happiness uh, that is being created with music, it's all feeling. It all comes from the feeling. And B.B. King was certainly the master in that. Um, and many of us have learned from him and looked up to him. Now, 1972, Sounding Out on YouTube. If you ever have a chance to watch that, it's amazing. So, again, this wraps up our Machine 2.3 uh, update, new release, if you will, uh, with together with Complete Select. So, thank you very much for watching. And I know I went all over the place. You know it. You know it. All right. Bye.